up guys, EJ here, back with another video, and today it's going to be my Blu-ray DVD collection for 2020 and uh, Horror Part 2. Uh, but before we get started, it was pointed out to me that I uh, missed a movie from uh, the last video, uh, which happens quite a bit when I put stuff back in the wrong place. Uh, but in fact, I missed two movies. I missed uh, uh, Bram Stoker's uh, Dracula uh, from 1992, uh, yeah, good film directed by Francis Ford Coppola, uh, Gary Oldman, Keanu Reeves, uh, Winona Ryder, and uh, Anthony Hopkins, uh, collector's, collector's edition, and the one that was pointed out to me that I did miss was uh, Drag Me to Hell, a uh, great film from Sam Raimi, uh, unrated director's cut from 2009, really enjoyed this film with uh, Alison Lohman and uh, Justin Long. So those were the two I missed, or just skipped over last video. So uh, starting off proper, uh, up first we have uh, the Fly collection. Uh, the Fly from uh, 1958 is uh, the main reason I have this, uh, but it also includes the sequels, Return of the Fly, and the uh, Curse of the Fly. Up uh, next we have uh, Frailty uh, from 2002 I believe, really good film with uh, Bill Paxton and Matthew McConaughey. Up uh, next we have uh, my uh, Frankenstein uh, Legacy Collection Edition, of course, uh, Boris Karloff Classic from 1931. Includes uh, Bride of Frankenstein, which is great as well, from 1935. Son of Frankenstein from 1939, Ghost of Frankenstein 1942, and uh, House of Frankenstein 1944. Up next, another great film from the 30s, uh, Todd Browning's Freaks uh, from 1932. Um, yeah, fantastic film. Alright, up next we have my Friday the 13th collection. Um, the uh, first one, Friday the 13th. Uh, deluxe edition uncut. I like these uh, lenticular slip covers for this. Um, yeah, from 1980, probably my favorite of the uh, Friday the 13th films is the first one. Of course, the second one, Friday the 13th Part 2, also great because it's uh, really the first one with uh, an older Jason Voorhees proper. Um, yeah, from uh, 1981, uh, terrific film. Up next, Friday the 13th, Part 3, uh, 3D from 1982. I believe this one has uh, Corey Feldman in it, if I'm not mistaken. I rewatched these all when I got them uh, five or six years ago now. Uh, Friday the 13th, uh, the final chapter from uh, 1984. Friday the 13th, uh, Part 5, A New Beginning from 1985. Yes, shame not all of them have uh, a nice slipcover, but a couple of them do. Friday the 13th, uh, Part 6, Jason Lives uh, from 1986. Friday the 13th, Part 7, The New Blood uh, from 1988. Friday the 13th, uh, Part 8, uh, Jason Takes Manhattan from uh, 1989. Um, Jason Goes to Hell, unrated and uh, R-rated versions um, from 1993. Not great from what I remember. And one of the worst, uh, Jason X uh, from uh, 2001 New Line Platinum Series, Jason in Space. Okay, up next we have uh, the original Fright Night from 1985. Yeah, great film with uh, Roddy McDowell, Chris Sarandon, and Amanda Bierce. Uh, the only other thing I know her from besides Married with Children is this film. And I also got the uh, 2011 remake with uh, Anton Yeltsin, uh, Colin Farrell, Fright Night 3D on Blu-ray. Alright guys, up next we have uh, The Frighteners uh, from uh, 1996, yeah, Peter Jackson uh, film uh, with uh, Michael J. Fox. Haven't seen that in a while. Up next we have uh, From Dust Till Dawn, um, yeah, from also from 1996, fantastic uh, Robert Rodriguez, uh, Tarantino collaboration, uh, Harvey Keitel, George Clooney. 
uh, Tarantino himself, Juliette Lewis. Uh, fantastic movie. Up next, we have uh, Frontiers. Um, yeah, good French uh, uh, horror film from what I remember from uh, After Dark Horror Fest. Still got some tape on it there. Take that off. Okay, up next we have uh, Funny Games uh, from 2008. Yeah, really good film with uh, Naomi Watts and Tim Roth, uh, Michael Pitt. Uh, terrific. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed that. Ugh. Let's back in. Up next we have uh, The Gallows from, um, I would say, like 2015. Um, yeah, cool little uh, horror thriller set in a high school. Like a haunted uh, play in a high school, kind of weird. Uh, up next, we have uh, Get Out uh, from uh, 2017. Fantastic film, of course. Um, uh, directed by Jordan Pill. Uh, Daniel Kalula, terrific. Just a fantastic film. One of the, uh, the big hits of that year, that's for sure. Up next, we have uh, Ghost Ship uh, from 2002. Uh, not a great film. Uh, Gabriel Byrne uh, is in it, from what I remember. But the opening scene uh, is one of the best in any horror movie in the past 20 years. I love the opening scene uh, to Ghost Ship. Uh, up next, we have A Ghost Story uh, from uh, 2017. More of a sort of, uh, sort of uh, drama, not really a flat-out horror film, but uh, it has horror elements. Uh, yeah, quite a uh, melancholy, uh, interesting film with uh, Casey Affleck and uh, Rooney Mara. I liked it a lot. <clears throat> Up next, we have uh, Ginger Snaps uh, from uh, 2000. A really good film with uh, Emily Perkins and uh, Catherine Isabel, Mimi Rogers. I like like that film a lot. Up next, we have uh, Eli Ross, uh, The Green Inferno, uh, from 2015. Uh, yeah, no good deed goes unpunished in the uh, <laughs> the Amazon rainforest, that's for sure, uh, for a bunch of uh, activists. Um, yeah, that's a good good cannibal film, that one. All right, up next, we have my Halloween collection. Uh, Halloween, uh, 25th anniversary edition. Uh, one of my all-time favorite horror films, of course, John Carpenter's classic. Uh, from 1978 with Jamie Lee Curtis and Donald Pleasance. Uh, brilliant film. I also like the second one a lot because it's basically just a continuation of the same night but uh, at the hospital. Uh, Halloween 2 from 1981. Yeah, fantastic film as well. Halloween 3, uh, Season of the Witch from 1982. Sort of a complete departure away from the uh, Michael Myers story. And that's why we have Halloween Forward, The Return of Michael Myers uh, from 1988. Halloween 5, uh, The Revenge of Michael Myers from 1989. Make sure I get these back in the right order. Uh, Halloween, uh, The Curse of Michael Myers uh, from 1995. Or Halloween 6. Uh, Halloween uh, H2O, uh, 20 years later, from uh, 1998. Yeah, fun movie. Josh Hartnett, uh, Michelle Williams, Jamie Lee returning, of course. Um, yeah, I enjoyed parts of that film. Halloween uh, Resurrection uh, from 2002. Is this the one with Buster Vines? That's the only thing I remember about uh, Halloween Resurrection, really. And I also got a bunch of the remakes. Uh, Halloween from 2007. I really liked uh, Rob Zombie's uh, remake. Uh, to this special edition. Director's Cut. I also got the second one he did. Halloween 2. Uh, from 2009. Not as good as the first one I thought. But uh, I still enjoyed it. Um, let's see if the girl is in it that I'm looking for. Is it, uh, hmm, I don't see her name on there. I thought, uh, Anya, Anna Taylor Joy is, uh, the lead in it, but I could be looking at the wrong thing there. Maybe she's in the first one or she's in the other, the newest version of Halloween from 2018, um, from, uh, was it David Green, uh, that directed this? I could be wrong about that. 
uh, yeah, David Gordon Green. Um, yeah, it was fine. I didn't. I liked Rob Zombie's Halloween. I think more than uh, the 2018 version. Up next, we have uh, Hansel and Gretel, uh, Witch Hunters from uh, 2013 with uh, Jeremy Renner and uh, what's her freaking name? I completely blanked on her name all of a sudden. <coughs> Girl in uh, Tomorrow Drew and uh, oh, Gemma Arterton, that's it, yeah. Um, yeah, fun, <laughs> silly movie. Um, I did like uh, Gretel and Hansel that came out this year. Um, if you've guys have seen that let me know what you thought of that film um from earlier this year more of a uh this is more of an action movie than a horror movie but uh Gretel and Hansel I kind of dug um one of the few films I'll probably be getting for next year 2020 is gonna be a weird year as far as pickups go um all right guys moving on down up next we have uh, Happy Death Day uh from 2017 um yeah I like this film a lot um, I also enjoyed the uh, sequel from last year, so I'll probably be getting that. Uh, next, we have uh, Hatchet, uh, unrated director's cut. Um, yeah, from 2006, good uh, slasher film I liked a lot. And I also have the sequel, Hatchet 2, unrated director's cut uh, from 2010. Not too bad. Up next, we have another uh, Midnight Movie double feature, uh, The Haunted Palace um, and uh, Tower of London. Um, yeah, both starring Vincent Price, uh, The Haunted Palace uh, from 1963, and the main reason I got it is uh, Tower of London uh, from 1962. Up next, we have uh, The Haunting uh, from 1963, yeah, great uh, Robert Wise. Uh, great British horror film uh, from the 60s. Up next, we have uh, The Haunting uh, from 1999. Uh, yeah, film directed by Jan DeBont with uh, Liam Neeson, uh, Catherine Zeta Jones, uh, Owen Wilson, Lily Taylor. Not great from what I remember, but okay. Up next, we have uh, Hellfest on Blu ray from uh, 2018. Um, not great. From what I remember, but, uh, okay. Up next, we have, uh, Hereditary, also from, uh, 2018. Uh, I did not love this film when I initially saw it. Uh, yeah, Tony Collette. Uh, really interesting movie, in fact. I know a lot of people loved it. Uh, but I didn't on first viewing. Up next, we have, uh, High Tension, uh, from 2004. Really great, uh, French horror um, yeah, really great film, that one. <clears throat> Stuck together as usual. Uh, up next we have uh, the original uh, The Hills Have Eyes from 1977. Uh, yeah, great Wes Craven film. Really love uh, the first one. I also really enjoyed the, uh, the remake. Um, when did this come out now? 2006, I believe. Uh, something like that. Yeah, I like the remake a lot. I didn't like uh, The Hills Have Eyes 2, uh, the second one, as much. Uh, that's why I don't have it. Up next, we have uh, Hostel uh, from 2006. Yeah, Eli Roth film. Um, I enjoy parts of this film, especially the ending. Um, yeah, certain parts of Hostel I like a lot. Um, and I also got the second one, Hostel Part 2 uh, from 2007, unrated. Uh, director's cut. I didn't like this one as much as the first one, but I still enjoyed it. Good uh, female cast in that one. Up next, we have uh, House at the End of the Street uh, with uh, Jennifer Lawrence, uh, Max Terrio from uh, 2012. Not great, um, but I still enjoyed it. Always love uh, J Law. Up <clears throat> next, we have House of a Thousand Corpses, of course, Rob Zombie film from uh, 2003. Uh, did not love this film. Um, yeah, Sid Haig and uh, Sherry Moon Zombie and so on. Um, Bill Mosley. Um, tough to watch in, in parts, that's for sure. I liked uh, The Devil's Rejects a lot more, like I said, uh, when I talked about that. Up next, we have uh, House of Wax, uh, the 1953 version with uh, Vincent Price. Another great Vincent Price film. 
And I also got the 2005 remake. Um, really loved this film with uh, Alicia Cuthbert. Even uh, Paris Hilton I thought was perfectly fine. Uh, yeah, really cool film. Great ending. I, I love when the, uh, the house uh, catches on fire and melts at the end. Just a really well-made film. I liked it a lot. Okay, up next we have a uh, house on uh, Haunted Hill from uh, late 50s, I believe, 1958, 59, something like that. Another really good uh, Vincent Price film. Up next we have uh, The Howling uh, from 1981, great uh, werewolf classic, of course. Nice uh, lenticular slipcover uh, on this one. I know there's a bunch of uh, sequels, but I haven't really seen them. Uh, up next we have uh, The Hunchback of Notre Dame from uh, 1939 with uh, Charles Lawton. Old school uh, horror right there. And last but not least we'll end here for this uh, part two. We have I Know What You Did Last Summer uh, from 1998. Uh, yeah, Jennifer Love Hewitt of course, Ryan Philippe, uh, Sarah Michelle Gellar. Um, yeah, I, I didn't love the, uh, the sequel. Um, I still know what you did last summer, so I don't have that. Um, but there you have it. So that is, uh, Horror Part 2. Up next will be Part 3, of course. Uh, thank you for watching as always, and until next time, I'll see you. Bum.